What's going on, everybody? Thank you so much for joining. Hope you are having a great one today. As always, if you want some sideshow codes, there you go. Feel free to steal them away. Uh, and if you don't, that is cool, too. Today, we are looking at this beautiful lady. We got Yelena from the Black Widow, uh, which I am very, very excited for. I have already unboxed her, uh, which took a little while and kind of got interrupted uh, by a new addition to my family. I got a fun little baby squirrel scene here. And because I'm constantly getting up to feed and deal with his little screams, uh, it kind of distracted me. But he's sleeping now, so we're good. Mama went off scavenging, so we can leave it at that. Um, this box is pretty dang cool. We're going to do a quick little glimpse at it. And then we will yank her on out and go from there. At least I thought it would be a quick little glimpse. There we go. You do get this nice little uh, full art deal which I thought was pretty cool. Plus, it's the, the beautiful Florence Pugh, so you can't go wrong with that. Uh, and then inside, it looks like that. Alrighty, and as I mentioned, I have already done a little bit of an unboxing for uh, So, uh, plus side, it'll just make this quick, because I know what we're looking at. So, first thing I want to talk about is this beautiful head sculpt. Uh, they did a really good job with it. I was actually, uh, when I saw the production photos, kind of turned off by it at first. I think a lot of people were. Mm -hmm. uh, but... I thought about canceling it, uh, didn't do it in time, they ended up shipping it, and now I am not sad that I got it. Uh, if you're wondering, I do still have some plastic stuff on underneath that I didn't yank out yet. We'll get to that in a bit. I'm not overly concerned, but that's what that is. Um, so the top part of her outfit is amazing. Honestly, they really crushed her uniform in general, but one thing I do want to just kind of highlight is really the range of motion that you get with the suit. Um... It is absolutely outstanding. Really can just kind of go all over the place with her. Um, the only issue that I had, hopefully I managed to do it. Yep. Uh, so sometimes these bundle up a little bit. So you might have to kind of separate them a little. It happens more on this arm. But you just kind of do that. Give it a little separation there. You know, not the end of the world, just one thing that does kind of happen is these little straps get kind of jammed together. Uh, the vest, they did something awesome with. They actually have it attached by magnet. Um, so you could just clasp that on real easy like, um, which for me was great. As I've often talked about, I have big, big giant uh, ogre hands. So dealing with a zipper of that magnitude would not have been an easy thing. Uh, you do get some replacements of these buttons there. And there, in case any of them pop off, they give you a little baggie with a couple of those in it, so you don't have to worry about that, which is nice. Uh, not a bad ab crunch. I didn't really go too hardcore to, to test that out. Wasn't overly concerned with it, but it is there. You do get some rotation as well. Again, not much, but it's there. Uh, the most restricted part's going to be the abs, and then right here in her legs. She kind of has the same issue that Endgame Cap has, where she can't do a ton of motion there. But the suit, being the material that it is, really lets you go pretty, pretty intense with the uh, the actual movement on it. Um, I love it. I don't see any issues coming from it. It's a really cool material, so I don't really think you're going to run into any problems if you do any crazy poses. You might get some creases over time, um, but I'm pretty happy for it. Does have a little pouch here for her throwing daggers, which we'll take a look at, and a holster for her glizzy, uh, which I was very happy that they included. Footwear, they did a good job. It's split at the ankle, so you get a little bit of motion there. And kind of wiggle that around as you see fit. Uh, but really, just nice job painting those boots. Overall, I was pretty dang impressed with them. Uh, as for the accessories that you get, you get a whole lot of them. Mainly in the world of hands, you get eight extra hands. Uh, which is probably excessive. I'm not going to pull all of them out, um, but this time I will be smart and at least pull one out. Um, so, just to give you an idea, they painted them up really well. They did do the fingernails, which impressed me. Gave her a nice little shiny gloss on them, make her extra pretty. Um, but yeah, they just did a really good, good job with those. It's pretty straightforward and simple, not a whole lot to it, but the leather looks like leather and the fingers look like fingers, and that's really all you can ask for. Um, so I was pretty happy with that. Actual weapon-wise, uh, you get a bunch. I think, yeah, so all of her throwing daggers have fallen out, and they're floating around somewhere in here. They're super tiny. 
I'll see if I can find one, but I have a feeling they are. Oh, there they are. So if, uh, well, since it's out, there's the base. It looks amazing. Ta-da. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty basic. <laughs> Pun intended. Um, like I said, her throwing daggers are very, very small. They do kind of jiggle around in the box. You might want to put a piece of tape over it if you're keeping it in the box for a long period of time, just so they don't go anywhere. Uh, I'm actually just going to leave them underneath that stand. That seemed like a pretty secure spot for them. Uh, but there you go. Really pretty simple design. They're throwing, des throwing knives, so there's not a whole lot to them. They do have a nice little point on the end there. And then, of course, they decorated the handle a little bit for us. Uh, you do also get her headset, which... I still have not been able to figure out if this is magnetized or not. Uh, it stays on her head pretty much perfectly once it's there. Which it might just be sculpted really well to fit on her, but I almost feel like it's magnetized. I'm probably wrong. It's probably just sculpted well. Uh, but it really does stay on there quite well. So, kind of impressed in that regard. They did a good job with that. You get a bunch of different versions of her Bretons. Uh, first off, if you wanted her to rock the big stick energy, you get the massive version of both of them combined, which is fun. Uh, you can technically take Nebula's lightning effects and put them on here uh, if you wanted her stick to have a little sparkle. Uh, I'm not going to do that, but it is an option, I suppose, if you wanted to. Uh, then, of course, you got the straight and the articulated version. side by side and then the articulated ones you can move around quite a bit you can also theoretically use them for longer straight versions of that if you wanted but either way uh, kind of impressed that they give you a, a whole little arsenal of these just so you can really mix and match and have her wielding them however you wanted which i thought was cool uh, and then i so I'm kind of a dork, and anytime firearms are done on a figure, I usually geek out a little bit, especially if they're done well. And I believe, at least at first glance, that they did this one pretty dang well. I'm surprised this is not sitting in there too, as well as it should. Maybe. Did I have it backwards? Let's find out. Eh, good enough. Um, so she does get her Glock. Uh, so she's got a Glock 26, which I absolutely love. And they did a really good job replicating it. Hopefully it'll focus. Maybe. Up close and personal. There we go. <laughs> they did a really good job with it. Uh, honestly, it looks like a mini Glock, so I was very, very happy. Uh, you can... If I can demonstrate, maybe. Ah, uh, that's, there we go. Uh, you can move the slide. Whee! So that's kind of fun. And you can even yank the magazine out, if I can get it. If I can get it. All right, I'm not lying. You definitely can get the magazine out. Probably going to get it out and it's going to go flying across the room. All right, one moment. Up close look. I cannot believe how stuck that is. All right, quick pause. We'll be right back. All right, I'm glad I paused that because that took a while and I needed to get a knife. <laughs> but, ta-da, the magazine does come out. There we go. Let's see, got the nice little bullets in there. Uh, so let that be my, a lesson to y'all. If you put the magazine in, uh, it might get very, very stuck. 
So I'm going to basically only push it in this far at this point, uh, just so I could take it out later if I need to for whatever reason. Uh, and eventually, once I holster it for a more permanent position, uh, I will go ahead and just cram that in the, into its place. Uh, really shocked by that but there you have it now you do also get some extra wrist pegs and then like i said they got the little baggie here for the extra buttons which i don't think you'll ever need but if you do it's nice that they got them uh, and that's really about it um, i honestly think she was about 220 bucks she wasn't too terribly expensive um but I would say, unless you're a huge fan of Florence, uh, which I am, but if you're not, which understandably so, uh, you might want to wait for a discount. There's that head sculpt again. I really think they crushed it, but a lot of people were hating on it. Uh, either way, Sideshow does do sales so dang often that if it's not something you're like, oh my gosh, I must have this, uh, wait till they do a 20% off, save some money. Can't really go wrong that way. Let it do it for this one. Thank you all so much. We'll see you next time.